Guys, what's going on? This week I've got a quick video that I just wanted to share for any of you that shoot with action cameras. I've been filming with action cameras for the last five years pretty religiously and it took me a long time to discover this one secret that helped make it look so much better. Funny enough, that secret just has to do with colors. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Hopefully get your GoPro, Osmo, or Insta360 footage looking a hell of a lot more like this. I get it. Color grading, LUTs, all that stuff, been around forever, it's nothing new. But for whatever reason, I feel like it's often overlooked by action camera users. I know for myself, at least personally, I never used to color grade my action cam footage, and then one day, a few years back, I decided to do it, and I had this epiphany, and I was like, oh my god. This is how GoPro makes their footage look so freaking good on the promo reels. It's because their blues are a little more turquoise and the yellows are a little more yellow and everything just complements each other so well and if you're struggling to make your footage look like the GoPro promo reels, look no further. I also wanted to launch this video in harmony with the release of my new preset pack. I just dropped my own JL LUT pack that was specifically and tailor-made for action camera footage, for surfing, for snow sports, and for just general adventures. If you're interested, you can check it out in the link in the description below, but you do not need to own my preset pack to get value from this video. The goal of this video is just to teach you guys how to use and apply a LUT properly, and then also hopefully show the impact that it has on your action camera footage. So without further ado, let's do this thing. So I've already got my project open with the clips that I want to color. First things first, you're going to take your mouse over down here and click new item adjustment layer. Click OK. Boom. Now, as you can see in our project panel, we've got an adjustment layer created. We'll drag the adjustment layer onto our sequence, drag it out to the same length as our clip. Boom. So as you can see, this frame here is pretty gray. It's pretty dead. There's not a lot of life happening. The reason it looks gray, dead, and lifeless is because I shoot all of my action camera footage on what's called a flat profile. If you're on GoPro, you can select the color profile as flat, or if you're on Osmo, you can select the color profile as decine light. I highly recommend doing this because shooting on a flat profile means that you basically shoot the footage like grayscale so that you have the most information possible to change the hues and mess with the colors, which you'll see the importance of that now. Jumping back into Premiere, we're gonna click on our adjustment layer and then navigate over here to the right side where it says Lumetri Color. If you don't see Lumetri Color, go to Window, navigate down to Lumetri Color and make sure that it's checked. Once it's checked, it should pop up over here on the right side. Now our first order of operation is under Basic Correction and we're literally just gonna do as it says and that is Basic Correct the clip back to normal life. To do that, you just play with the contrasts, the highlights, the shadows, so on and so forth until you're happy with the way that the image looks. Bring up the saturation a bit, boom. If you toggle on and off your adjustment layer, you can see we can revert back to our original clip and you can see there's already a massive change by just doing the basic correction. But that change is nothing compared to what this LUT is about to do. Let me show you. Close up basic correction and now navigate to the creative tab. Then click look and then browse. Once you click browse, you're gonna to need to navigate to wherever your LUTs are saved. For this example, we're gonna use one of my new five LUTs called Color Punch, and get ready to have your mind blown in three, two, one. And just like that, the teals are popping, the turquoises look beautiful, the deep blues in the sky. I mean, in, in my opinion, it is the game changer of action camera footage and it's such a simple thing. LUTs and coloring has been around forever, but to do it to your, your action camera footage is the game changer in making it look just that extra hint more cinematic and give it that special sort of vibe to it. If the preset comes on a little too strong for you, we have the intensity slider over here. You can just drag this up and down and kind of find wherever it hits right for you. For me, I'm generally using it between 80 and 100. Sometimes you can crank it higher depending on the clip, but I think around 85 looks good. I like editing all my colors on an adjustment layer because you can easily just 
delete it, or you can toggle it on and off and get back to your original clip. You can also drag it out and anything under it will be affected by it. So you can just batch edit an entire sequence of clips, if that makes sense. So yeah, guys, that literally covers it. It's as simple as that. As I said, Color Punch is just one of my five new LUTs. So before I sign off, I'll leave you with a before and after of all my LUTs so you can see the different changes that it has depending on the different conditions and locations you're shooting.